engaging with the community since 1970. This is WIS Awareness with Billie Jean Shaw, a Black History Month special. Happy Sunday to you and welcome into another episode of Awareness. I'm your host, Billie Jean Shaw. In honor of Black History Month, all month long here on Awareness, we are celebrating Black History Makers all across the Midlands. Kicking off our series this week, it's a man who you've invited in your home for over the last three decades. We're talking about sports director Rick Henry. Now we know Rick for his award winning sports coverage, but did you know this about him? He is living black history. In 1981, Rick Henry became the first black sports director for a South Carolina television station. And it is an honor to welcome him on awareness today. Hey, Rick. Hey, thank you, Billie Jean. And thanks for inviting me on the show. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I think it's amazing your, your career, your journey. I want you to tell our viewers where your beginning started in MACB, South Carolina, <laughs> and how that played a part into the successful sports broadcaster that you are today. Well, when I was growing up, I loved sports. I loved reading about sports, playing sports. I played uh, football and basketball, and I uh, just loved baseball as well. And when I was, uh, well, after I finished uh, eighth grade, uh, my mother told me I was going to go to summer school and repeat eighth grade English. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked because I'd made an A. But she knew my eighth grade English teacher had not properly prepared me for high school. Mm -hmm. So I went to summer school, retook eighth grade English, made another A. And it was during that time I discovered I had a knack for writing. And I got to thinking, well, let's see, writing, sports, and I thought, hey, maybe I can make a living being a sportscaster. Yeah, and so in 1981, you became the first black sports director at a South Carolina television station uh, where you were working at WPDE in Florence. Right, WPDE in Florence. They hired me. I didn't have any experience working in TV. Mm -hmm. I did have a broadcast journalism degree from the University of South Carolina. I was uh, named an outstanding senior at USC, which is very prestigious because it's a small number of people yeah. in a rather large university. And I'd worked in radio for a while and worked for Chesterfield County in the tax assessor's office mm -hmm. and as CETA director. And uh, I decided, hey, let's give uh, TV another shot because I had <laughs> applied for just uh, jobs with just about every TV station in South Carolina and was rejected. Wow, including I know you've shared here at WIS, WIS right? WIS, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, a full circle moment. But Rick, in 1981 when you became sports director, did you realize in that moment what you were doing for those who were going to be coming after you in the sports broadcasting world? Not at that time mm -hmm. because I was so focused, Billie Jean, on just getting a job. Yeah. All I wanted was an opportunity. And Jerry Condra, the general manager at WPDE at the time, mm -hmm. when he hired me, I told him, you, were, you wouldn't be sorry. And so I just poured myself into that job, just worked very hard. And so it didn't hit me until later yeah. that I'd become the uh, first black sports director in South Carolina. And since then, um, yeah, you know, I, I wear that distinction proudly. Growing up in the rural South, experiencing just segregation and then for you to be a black history maker as one of the first black anything in this state. How did that later impact you? Well, growing up in the 60s in the segregated South, and I remember how the family would get excited any time a black person was on TV, mm -hmm. you know, be it an entertainer on one of the uh, national shows or if you would happen to see uh, someone black on one of the local talk show, so to speak. Yeah. But you never saw any black people anchoring or reporting. And so I, I think about that and also just to get that opportunity. And I had some struggles too, like when I was working in Florence yeah. and your NASCAR coverage is very important because of the Darlington Raceway. Mm -hmm. And I noticed one day that the other station in Florence, they had been over to the racetrack they had some drivers in testing, and like I knew nothing about it. You know, this is before Twitter and stuff. So I called up the uh, track public relations director, and I said, hey, I see you had some drivers in. Uh, next time you have something like that, could you let me know? Give me a call. Yeah. So it happened again. And I'm like, man, you know, I, this is awful. But I had 
uh, a couple of white friends who lived over in Darlington, and they started calling me whenever they would hear the engines because the engines would just reverberate all throughout the town. Wow. So one day they called me and they said, hey, Rick, something's happening at the track. So put my gear in the car, drove to the track, and get there, and I'm pulling my gear out, and I could see the look of astonishment, you know, on everyone else's face. Yeah. Well, and I think they realized at this point that I wouldn't be denied. So then the P track PR director, he would call me. Wow. And, and what year I, was this, Rick? Oh, it was in the, it was in the 80s. It was in the 80s. This was <laughs> happening in the 80s. Oh, yeah, early 1980s. Wow. And so, you know, I worked really hard, and um, I, I became rather good at it, right? Mm-hmm. So good that after I came here to WIS, they called me up one day from the track and they said, hey, Rick, we'd love you to be the um, uh, Grand Marshal for the Southern 500 wow. Parade. And just in 2021, they had me introduce the um, players who had qualified for the playoffs because the Southern 500 was the first playoff race. And the uh, track president, Kerry Tharp, used to be the sports information director at USC. He said, hey, Rick, how would you like to introduce the playoff drivers? I said, oh, I'd l love to. And to think about how I started off covering NASCAR yeah. and where I am now. Wow. Well, we're going to pause right there on that note, Rick. Thank you so much for sharing that. When we come back, we are going to continue our conversation with sports director Rick Henry. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.